Oh, how lovely. For their electric, so they will be able to read the electric via GPS and not have to send people out anymore. Well, it is the new cashless society control grid that they're building with RFID and biometric technology as well as GPS technology. And like I said, what Google Earth is about to present to people, what they just showed in a demonstration this week is unbelievable. You will be able to zoom in on a live area where it will give you live CCTV camera footage of what's going on on that street, on that uh, in that town, on that highway. It's simply unbelievable the times we're living in. I've seen the, the stuff they have on Google Earth, just where you can look at a neighborhood. But the day that Alex, the, that uh, uh, this information about what's going on in Hardin City was posted on Infowars, I think it was Monday. Mm -hmm. I immediately, I'm, I'm proactive. I called to the sheriff's office there. I also talked to City Hall. I couldn't get anyone with the council. And the woman with the sheriff's office told me the sheriff's not here. Now, whether that's true or not, I don't know. He was conveniently not there. But I, I brought up to her about this. First, when I brought it up, I called Alex the other day. She immediately said, well, it's fake. I said, what? She said, yeah, it's fake. I said, ma'am, I saw the, the video from the newscasters with these guys with APF coming in with Hardin City Police on the vehicle. Well, they took that off the vehicles, you know, like that made it okay. And I just, you know, gave her a rundown about what this is really about. And she thanked me, and that was the end of that. Well, then well, look I at the guys, the Stephen. Stephen, look at the guys. They're presenting themselves not only as a police force, but an American police force. And then you have the crest of Serbia above it, number one. Number two, we know that these are foreign mercenaries, and the head of this is a convicted felon with over a dozen aliases. You can't make this stuff up. This is straight out of a James Bond movie. It's unbelievable. I got to jump. I thank you for the call, Stephen. Let's go to Kevin in New York. Kevin, you're on the line. Hey, Jason. Great show today. Uh, I just wanted to let your listeners know that a great place to start with this whole Montana incident here is the actual architectural blueprints. Uh, if they put up a public bond, they should be in the public domain. In the bottom-hand ledger, there'll be names, there'll be the engineering firm. It'd be a first place to pull the string on this, uh, this situation. There'll be uh, people have to sign this off. Well, well, Becky Shea is sitting there saying, yes, you did see some documents where they said foreign alien detainment, but then she won't reveal who the supposed contractors were before the uh, the APF came in. I got to jump, Kevin. I've got Alex on the line with his final intel report on the streets of Hardin, Montana. Alex. Yes, the spokesperson for American Police Force itself a cutout for another company, itself another cutout to foreign Merck firms. That's confirmed. She's now getting very agitated. There's a bunch of local media here. It's now on national news. And uh, we've talked to locals. They were patrolling around here last week. That's when all this started about a week and a half ago when the vehicles didn't break on the news until the uh, weekend. They did put decals on these black uh, Mercedes SUVs. They are driving around. Then earlier in the week, they tried to say that was a conspiracy theory and none of that was happening. Now they've had to admit that they were here. This type of stuff was going on. We've been getting followed uh, by men in black sedans, also similar red trucks with men in camouflage uh, have been seen by us and by locals that are here uh, all over the town. There's all sorts of weird military drills going on here. And uh, again, you have Germans, you have uh, Serbs, you have Czech Republic, uh, you have Brits, you have others here. They've all basically fled the facility, but they're still in the town. And uh, the, I knew this was a big story whenever we found out that they were putting uh, the police insignias on the side of their cars. What we know is happening is is Two Rivers basically is an authority. And it's, it's quasi-public-private group, kind of like LCRA in Central Texas, taking over the water supply, hiring their own SWAT teams. And what they've done is a power grab here, the evidence shows. Uh, and the, the, the spokesman in several newscasts earlier this week and over the weekend admitted, well, we had a wish list to have them be local police. So imagine this. You have a paramilitary foreign secretive group run by a 14-time felon from Serbia with his bizarre father in tow with German troops, very serious military uh, types uh, here with them. More reporters are now arriving. All of this is going on. Uh, you have them admitting to us that they want to put a giant paramilitary training facility for police, military, foreign mercenaries, you name it. That's all admitted. 
You have them wanting to expand the prison facility. It is huge, $27 million. Just, just, uh, I've shot video on the wall of blueprints. Just looks like as many as 50 to 60 cells. They were very secretive, wouldn't let, give us a tour over 90% of the facility. I've been around the back with a large area uh, of acreage uh, out there. People have to understand that they haven't even filed the corporate paperwork. That's admitted the Billings Gazette is reporting for this facility, uh, for American police force, that is anything but American, uh, that is running it. And now the media is in there grilling her, saying, tell us who the secret group is that really owns it. Tell us who the secret group is that really owns it. Tell us who the secret group is that really owns it. Over and over again. But earlier when they thought they could sell to the public, in April they admitted that they wanted to carry out, uh, quote, alien and enemy combatant detainment. It's known as Guantanamo West. And when I was in their offices, when I was with her, then she would say, uh, don't, you know, she would say, oh, no, don't take that. Uh, we would see the blueprints saying that this is basically is a FEMA camp. The, the locals keep asking, well, why are you taking over? Why are you moving in foreign soldiers? Why are you doing all of this? Why are you saying it's not a FEMA camp? See, in April, the locals said, we don't want this to be Guantanamo Bay West, as CNN called it. And so they said, okay, well, we're just going to put regular prisoners there, but we're not going to talk about it. And they keep saying everything is secret, so the fact that it's a secret is only making it get bigger and bigger and bigger. But this has definitely, at bare minimum, been looked at as a ghost site, slash FEMA site, slash black site. It's, it's overall a black site that we know FEMA's involved with. And I've just seen amazing things while I've been here. We'll have more reports live tomorrow for everyone. I'm going to write all my notes down and, 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 and kind of focus my thoughts, have a big report for everybody at the start of the show tomorrow. Jason, I appreciate you sitting in. Final segment coming up. We'll be back with Alex Jones in just a minute. The latest over at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv.